Hi, hi everyone. Thank you, Jan, for the words. You did half of my introduction part. <laughs> so I'm here to present before you on our project, Project Farm in Two. Treatment of wastewater from pharmaceutical industries using triple AOP technology. Uh, the project is being funded by the federal Germ German Federal Ministry for Environment, Nature Conservation, Nuclear Safety and Consumer Protection under the funding program of Export Initiative for Environment Protection. Before moving on to the technical things, let me give you a quick background study. Effects of API on environment. API stands for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients. In simple words, it can be said as the most active biological component of a drug or a medicine, which has the ability to cure or uh, prevent a particular disease. But it has some serious negative impacts also. Pharmaceutical effluents could be one of the entry point of this drug into the environment. Once these effluents are released into water bodies without a proper treatment, it, it's a serious issue. Humans and animals can be exposed to these kind of drugs without directly consuming it. And their continuous exposure may lead to unintended effects on humans, aquatic life, and also even to our whole ecosystem. Our project is mainly focusing India. So there might be a question like, why India? Because it is a pharmaceutical hub of the world. It stands third largest in terms of volume and 14th largest in terms of value in pharmaceutical production. There are over 3,000 pharmaceutical companies in India, which can be categorized like small, medium, large, or multinational. So just imagine the situation once the affluence from all these companies are released into water bodies without a proper treatment. It is an issue which has to be addressed. I think most of you might have heard about the pollution of the Musi River in the state of Telangana. It is due to this pharmaceutical affluence. So that's why we are here with the project Farm in Two. The main goal of this project is to export and to create a market for, a tree, for an innovative wastewater technology named as Triple AOP. The technology has been developed by a German company named Aptui. This particular technology has the efficiency to treat the wastewater which comes out from pharmaceutical industries. Our target audience is not only the pharmaceutical companies, but also wastewater treatment plants, chemical industries, food processing units, and so on. Let me introduce to you our project partners. First is Aptui. It's the brain behind the technology. It's a German-based company. Second, Pagwes. It is our Indian partner located at the Chennai Nugampakam region. And then the Bavarian Indian Center will be handling the networking side of this project. And finally, INVA, the Research Institute of Hochschule for Sustainable Water Systems, Will be, create, will be creating an online learning and training platform for this technology. So moving on to the technical things, triple AOP, this technology can be defined as the next generation advanced oxidation process. So for the person who doesn't know what is an advanced oxidation process, it's a kind of chemical treatment which is done to the water to convert the contaminant stuffs in it into a non-toxic thing. So for that, it includes a lot of chemistry. I'm not going detail into it. With the help of hydroxyl radical, you can treat water and make it the contents, contaminants into non-toxic ones. So in triple AOP, you are having a device named as a rotary through which a complete and efficient dissolution of ozone can be done into the medium. In our case, the medium is a pharmaceutical wastewater. Along with this, acoustic energy is also introduced into the system, creating an acoustically activated advanced oxidation process. So this particular technology has a lot of advantages compared to conventional AOPs. First of all, its dissolution time is very less. It needs less than five minutes to completely dissolve ozone into the medium. Also due to its, its precise dosing technology, it needs a very less amount of ozone compared to advanced oxidation process. So if you can reduce the amount of ozone, it's, uh, you, you can reduce the cost up to like half. And also due to the immediate gas transfer, there is no possibility for scaling or clogging in case of triple AOP. 
I will just show you an image which shows the difference between conventional AOP and uh, rotary technology. In conventional AOP, for the diffusion of ozone into the medium, you need a diffuser tank which is like around 5 meter height for which you need a lot of energy, concrete, manpower and so on. But for triple AOP, it's just inline pipe diffusing. So in a way, you are reducing carbon footprint to a great extent. So from all this, triple AOP is highly sustainable compared to the other conventional advanced oxidation process. Let me show you a video which is created by the company up to e which describes about this technology. Uh, just a quick announcement. So Since what we, we can only borrow water, okay. possible shape and condition. This is why up to e is all about water. Our key components are produced in-house. Engineering, design, manufacturing, as well as research and development are closely linked to assembly and production. Up to E's newest acoustically activated AOP technology, Triple AOP, is especially designed for the treatment of wastewater streams deriving from various different industries and sources. Due to its design as a modular building kit, our clients are assured to receive compact, flexible and ready-to-operate turnkey modules. Retrofit integration or delivery as self-sustaining, skid-mounted or fully housed modules is not only easy but also highly time efficient. The main advantages are highly reliable and safe operation, low operating costs, excellent treatment results and of course quality made in Germany. The two key components, our Roturi and our HF sonotrodes, are at the core of the treatment process. The Roturi is uniquely designed for an ideal transfer of ozone and other gases into liquids. The immediate dissolution of ozone, in line and at atmospheric pressure, reduces retention time, gas amounts and, as a result, lowers overall operating costs. The HF sonotrodes are introducing acoustic energy. On a molecular level, enormous pressure swings and temperatures are created, normally only occurring on the surface of the sun. These extreme conditions promote the generation of hydroxyl radicals. The sophisticated combination of these two components creates a chain reaction, a kind of turbocharged AOP process. Up to ease triple AOP, amongst others, can be applied for micropollutants, COD and recalcitrant COD, spent caustic and sour water, completion of existing treatment plants as a detox stage, pre-treatment or final polishing stage. Your water in good hands. Call us. Up to E. We make technology. So, for the companies, like for the industries who are happy to collaborate with us, we will be conducting pilot projects on your site to show how efficient the system will be in the Indian local market. And also we will be conducting information events, webinars and training courses for the clients. Also, INVA is creating a learning tra and training platform about this technology for the interested industries and for universities. For universities, we are creating this technology with a, with a motive of knowledge, as a knowledge transfer platform for educating the next generation. And uh, the platform will be created with the help of the LXT software. So that's all from my side. Thank you for your attention. If you want to know anything more, you can contact me after this. Thank you.